good morning everybody welcome back to another morning word for those who are new to this this is where i share a short two minute video really the sharing for my own personal bible study i always make this very clear i am not a teacher of the bible i am not a pastor or anything like that i am just someone who fell in love with this book knowing what he has done for me taking me in my life from here to here and i always say he's about to take me to here too so I just really wanted to share that inspiration and hope that it inspires you to get into this word and obviously find your own revelations that takes your life to the next level. So let's really get into this. Yo, we're going to be reading from Genesis chapter 21, those taking notes, and I advise you to take notes. And we're reading from verse 1 and 2, and it reads this. Now the Lord was gracious to Sarah, as he had said, as he had said, important that. And the Lord did for Sarah what he had promised. And the Lord said to Sarah, did to Sarah what he had promised. Sarah became pregnant and bore a son to Abraham in his old age. At the very time God had promised. Yo, here's a key thing. Sarah was promised to have a son. And when she first found out about that, she laughed, she mocked, she doubted. Okay, she did things in her own strength because she didn't believe that God was going to do it. And all throughout that process, you know, from the initial promise to actually having a son, she lacked peace, she was frustrated, she had arguments obviously with her maidservant who she got to sleep with her husband. It was just messy. Now, imagine this, if she had just trusted in God, in that whole process, she would have peace and enjoyed the whole process. Instead, she had frustrations. Why? Because she doubted the promise she doubted the promise okay and that's really what God was trying to say to me he says Denzel I have laid promises in you but are you doubting them now and that's the question I throw out to you is there a promise that you know God has laid on your heart but you're now starting to doubt frustrating yourself now I want to show you something okay the Bible says that God cannot lie God can't lie Okay, so whatever he promises, okay, he will fulfill. But I'll ask you another question. I'm messing this up a little bit here. It's the second question. Do you even know what the promises are for your life? Because the truth is, you know, Sarah knew the promise and she was frustrated about about that. But most people don't even know what the promise is. Most people don't even know what God's got in store for them. Okay, so the first thing I would say, lesson of, of the day. Find the promise and then trust in the promise giver. All right, that's the lesson. Find out the promises. Because you ain't going nowhere if you don't know the promise. And then trust the promise giver. Because he cannot lie. So here's the action I want you to, to do today. Go and study this thing and find out one of the promises. Yo, do you know that he says that you are more than a conqueror? Did you know that he says, okay, that if you're strong and prosperous, you will enter the promised land? There are so many promises in this thing that loads of us ain't walking in because we don't know it. And those who do know it, we get so frustrated because we forget that he can't lie. And we start to panic. But here, okay, we see that God fulfilled his promise at the right time. Not in your time, not in my time, in the right time. You just gotta trust his timing. Because listen, the God who created the whole world knows better than you and me. But the one thing I'd say to you, please go out and find the promises for your life. There is a promise over your life to have greatness. But do you know that? So listen, God bless you. This once again, this is really blesses me. And yo, yo, please hit us up. If you want to know a little bit more about this, please hit us up. Message us, you know, and I'll definitely reply to you. So God bless you. Thank you for, for watching this. And we look forward to seeing you at the next Morning Word. And as we always say with Jen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. God bless you. See you soon. Bye-bye.